Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Got a nice 74 degrees right now. On our way to about 77 is a high today. Conditions are staying very dry out here. Great for solar. Water's okay. Could use a little more though. All in all, hard to complain. So I ran across another issue with a Victron charge controller and it may or may not have had something to do with a, a update that I just had to update all my controllers. You know how they do. They come along periodically and you need to update. And that was a few days ago. Might have been as much as a week ago. Um, and I'm not sure that this had anything to do with it, but I'll just show you what I did. So typically every day I'll make the rounds near all my devices, take a quick peek, look at the app and make sure everything's doing what it should be doing. But everything for the past many days uh, leading up to what I'm going to talk about, everything had been fine. You can see the chins just popped in. I'm kind of out of range of those right now, as you can tell by that, you know, just one little blue line and then there it disappears. So. I'll move a little closer, but anyway, yeah, I was just checking everything, and everything had been getting up to 100% and for many, many days, so I hadn't been keeping a, as close of an eye as I should after I had updated all of these charge controllers. And now that I'm in the back room here, you can see I'm well within range of those chins, batteries on the lower part of this display. And we can see, you know, my top string, which is just unnamed as Chins, 9,700 and some watts coming in, about 128 on the lower string. So, <laughs> like I said, everything had been getting up to 100%, so I hadn't been really back here uh, looking that closely. And that charge controller you can see on the left-hand side, I came in, I noticed the light wasn't on. I quickly looked at the display, zero watts coming in off my solar panels. And, you know, the battery bank down there was, you know, only up to about, oh, 50, 60%, as I recall, and, which I thought, no, everything else is 100%. It should be about 100% too. And I thought, my goodness. And I looked on that one, chins zero watts were coming in so i thought uh-oh i got a problem so this is that top string so if i go back to the history it'll show me the day in question and it was eight days ago so okay so this is the day you can see all the other days previous you know like i said i was getting up to full charge Getting very close to float every day, if not into float, but, you know, a nice full battery bank all the time. And then this is the day eight days ago. You can see 70 watt hours. That's all I was able to capture after I reset the charge controller. So, yeah, you can see why maybe I wasn't taking such a close look at it in the week previous. I, everything was just cranking, doing good. Uh... I'm pretty sure that it was just right after the update. I can't swear to that. But as I recall, I did have to update everything about a week ago. And everything was humming along except for my top string. So I just go over all these things in hopes that uh, this helps somebody along the way in case you have a charge controller offline and I'll quickly jump back into that utility room and show you all it took to get that charge controller back online. So of course I didn't know what had happened. I still don't know what happened. But anyway, this is the top string, 500 watts of solar going through this controller, 500 watts through that one. I've got quick disconnects right here. This is the top string, this is the bottom string. And the very first thing I did is I just flipped my quick breaker right here for the solar panels, flipped it down, turned it off, waited a few seconds, turned it back on. That thing popped right back on and it's been working perfectly ever since. 
for the past week. So, yeah, I'm thinking it was related to the update. Can't say for sure. Never had a problem with this system, ever. But anyway, that's all it took. I thought maybe I'd have to, you know, I didn't disconnect the battery power to it or anything, but it was just absolutely not doing anything. Flip the solar panel breakers, boom, off, on, been working perfectly ever since. So make of that what you guys will. So go back into the history. There's that day in question. And yeah, you know, you can see all those previous days cranking the power just fine, just fine, just fine. And by the time I caught it that particular day and, the, and just reset the charge controller, I only is towards the end of the day, obviously. But uh, that's all it took. And then ever since then, perfect. You know, real nice days. And then here's today, early in the day. And that's all it took. I just love it when uh, troubleshooting uh, is resolved <laughs> with one flip of the switch. And that's all it took in this case. So, yeah, I just thought I'd pass that along to you guys. You know, I assume you all had to do updates at the same time. I really don't know if it if it just goes out across uh, to everybody at the same time or not. But it, you know, that's when it happened for me that every charge controller I'm running out here, which is several, needed to be updated. No issues whatsoever. I just didn't go back and check initially after that update to where I could say for certain what happened there. But... At any rate, um, everything's doing just fine. <laughs> As always, guys, I hope you got something useful out of this video. Just a short little thing today. Everything's pretty good out here today. Hope things are good where you are. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Aloha.